This instructional video will demonstrate how to set up and use the Simularexis model. Simularexis is part of the Simuli line of ophthalmic surgical chaining models and is supplied in a kit which contains a reusable suction cup base, polymer clay, a cornea iris cap, and multiple anterior capsule films. Remove the cornea cap and the anterior capsule film and set aside for later use in the assembly process. Begin by adjusting the base unit. The suction cup should be screwed all the way into the back half of the eye just until it stops. Do not tighten it down. Back off the suction cup three quarters of a turn using the suction cup release tab as an indicator. This allows for the ability to increase the posterior pressure when desired. Remove the polymer clay from the clear plastic cylinder. Work it in your hands so that it is soft and malleable. Roll a portion into a ball and place it in the back half eye cup so that it sits above the lip. Use the top of the clear plastic cylinder to press the polymer into the cup creating a smooth surface while cutting off the excess. Continue to smooth out the surface using the plastic top as needed. Hold the cornea iris cap upside down with the non-dominant hand and place a red film into the back side of the cap. Be sure to place the side with the blue ring face down in the cap. Press the pieces together and the simularexis model is now ready for use. Attach the simularexis to a flat working surface by pressing down firmly on the outer ring or on the suction cup itself. Do not press on the cornea. With the eye secured, make the desired corneal incisions just anterior to the limbus and be sure to fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic. Use a cystotome and capsorexis forceps to initiate and complete a CCC. Upon completion of a CCC, use the tab on the suction cup base to release the suction. Remove the cornea iris cap. The red film will be adherent to the polymer and can be easily peeled away. A slight pinch on the walls of the back half of the eye cup can help to elevate an edge of the film. Gently wipe away any residual viscoelastic from the polymer. Adjust the setting of the suction cup as before by screwing it all the way into the back half of the eye cup and then backing it off three quarters of a turn. Use the top of the clear plastic cylinder to smooth out the polymer, just like during the initial preparation.
Place a new anterior capsule film in the cornea cap, again with the blue ring face down. Reassemble the eye and it is ready to be used for additional practice. For a greater challenge, once the eye is assembled and ready to use, rotate the suction cup into the eye to increase the posterior pressure behind the anterior capsule membrane. 180 degrees of rotation is usually adequate. This will create a more shallow anterior chamber and will cause the capsulotomy tear to run downhill and out toward the periphery. Rescue maneuvers may be practiced and mastered. Remember, the most important thing before going into surgery is practice, practice, practice.